So fall slash autumn is in full swing here in Georgia. And that means college football, that means cooler weather. But the best part about it is fly-in season and aviation is in full swing. So on this trip, me, Chris, and Derek are gonna fly to Triple Tree. Triple Tree is a, I don't know, probably seven, 8,000 foot long turf runway in South Carolina. Every year they have a big fly-in. And I think during this week, it's one of the busiest airports in South Carolina. Now, the one thing we're keeping an eye on is the weather. There is a tropical storm that is just off the coast, moving up the coastline. In the morning, we're gonna fight quite the headwind. So that's the only thing we're watching to kind of see um, if we're gonna be able to make the trip or not. Ophelia, making landfall in Emerald Isle, North Carolina, Saturday morning, has a strong tropical storm with winds of 70 miles per hour. This made landfall. You can see that area circulation right over Emerald Isle in North Carolina with winds just shy of a Cat 1 hurricane. Dangerous storm surge impacting North Carolina, Virginia, and Maryland. Swells from Ophelia triggering life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. Strong winds kicking up that surf. The rain, it has just been relentless. And now some 8 million Americans are under tropical storm warning. The storm bringing with it concerns over possible tornadoes. Ophelia knocking out power to tens of thousands of customers as of Saturday afternoon. All right, made it back to the airport. Last night, the cloud cover was showing it was supposed to be um, really pretty sunny. As I checked it this morning, it looks like it's going to be overcast there in Woodruff, South Carolina. So, a little bit of cloud covers, but that'll keep it cool. And uh, speaking of cool, if you know me, I hate cold weather, so I brought my hoodie because I still have the doors off on the Avid, and I did not take the time to put them on because uh, we're still at that point where we could have some hot days here in Georgia. You know, looking at four flight, it looks like we're gonna battle about a 13 to 16 knot headwind all the way there, which for most general aviation pilots, that's not that big of a deal, but in something this small and uh, for what we're gonna be flying up today in a group, you'll feel it nonetheless, but part of the adventure, I guess. What's up? You can tell who's flying with doors today and who's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's the man himself. What's up? Hey, I told Chris, I said, you can tell who's got cabin heat and who's got uh, doors on. <laughs> Y'all here is shorts and t-shirt and polos and I got on pants and a hoodie. This is Derek's new to him Stinson that he just bought. Had it about a month, I guess. He's been doing some flying, getting this guy's tailwheel endorsement, but uh, this will be uh, probably the farthest adventure he's been in in the Stinson. And you know, now when I say it like that, it's going to be the uh, longest adventure I've taken in Avid too, because of the headwind it's showing us probably uh, two and a half hours to get there. We're going to stop about halfway and put some more fuel in, but uh, and I'll be glad to get out and stretch. I promise. So I'm excited, man. Let's. Let's do this. Traffic two Delta Bikes Department, runway three two, Valia. Derek, 
is the lead plane right now. But he's working real hard trying to find Chris. Chris is a uh, snuck behind him, but he's leading him on really good. <laughs> oh, it's a I think I'm gonna pass you too, Derek. I'm about a mile in front of that smoke that we passed. I think Derek went the wrong way. Y'all better go ahead and pull up the side, man. I'm sure y'all right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> You've been moving in strange ways. And Thompson, Madoka traffic. You got a white Avid flyer I'm five miles south of the field and bound to a Thompson, Madoka. Thompson, Madoka, November 272, Sierra Sierra. So short list, say 28. Oh, I see him landing now. The grass to the right is, uh, is good if you want to land in the grass. To the right, you say? That's where I landed, or you could center that and land right before the threshold if you want to save the tires. Gotcha. Ooh. Oh! I got to stretch after that one. That was, uh, that was brutal. Not brutal. I'm just saying I was cold. Oh, you were freezing? I was freezing. <laughs> About the uh, last 45 minutes, I was shivering. I was so cold. <laughs> we lied to you. I needed double A's. Double A's. Hey, that's all right. I bought me a 9 volt and two extra double A's just to be sure. Oh, well, that's This what? is mighty convenient, too. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. So there's three, which is all you have is three then? Or do you have another pack? Let me look in the back. At least I feel good knowing that I'm not the only one. Uh, having battery problems this morning. I don't know if you could hear me uh, saying it earlier in the plane, but my noise canceling in my headset was not working and that is no fun at all, flying in something like the Avid with the doors off. So my man here had some batteries, cool FBO here at Thompson McDuffie. They had snacks, they had batteries. Uh, the guy working was really cool. So um, I'm gonna try to swap out. I put batteries in, but I don't know. I'm hoping it's the batteries. Maybe I can put fresh ones in and uh, my headset will start working. But we ready? Hour out. You want to look at the um, look at the instructions? Yeah, let's look yeah at go over Wally World, then go to the next uh, waypoint, and then turn. Hey, I'm not trusting you. I'm going to listen to the hey. guy that said that he knew that we needed a, a, a cardboard box. Hey, but that place. takes all the fun out of it if you go and you have all the... I mean, if there's no excitement, it's not... I mean... You can, it's hard to remember when you... Well, listen, just because I knew that I was supposed to bring a cardboard sign does not mean that I brought a cardboard <laughs> sign. So we still going to have to wing it. So it, we go no. over Wally World. That's all we need to know. Wally World, then we go, then we cross midfield, left well, out wind. You go to Wally World and then go to the city. Right. And, and this then is the guy leading us. And then when you get to the city, <laughs> you turn left and go straight to the tower. And it looks like at this point, the thing did say that's when you're midfield, that's the only time you key up and just say, you know, for me it'd be white avid fire full stop. It's just what what, what I am and my, my intentions. Chris is gonna take care of us. He's we're gonna let him lead us in, Brian, and we're that way we don't have to make a call. I like so it. we're flight gonna be a three. flight of three. Flight of three. Yeah, I'm gonna have and to be because my radio's almost got <laughs> batteries and works. <laughs> <laughs> you want you wanna feel good about yourself, I tell you how stupid I am. After bearing through that whole ride of no noise canceling and playing with batteries and all that, you know what was wrong? It wasn't yeah, turned on. Yeah, the button. I put them in backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I just paid $500 for two batteries. Well, I paid uh, $9 yeah. for uh, six. So. And my batteries were fresh. You they know, were they, just in there upside down. The old saying is it takes two to make one good pilot. <laughs> <laughs> we need three. <laughs> Distribution center is the rally point. And by then is when we need to be at 1700, 1700 feet or a thousand feet. and y'all need to be at 90 too don't forget that I mean, no, there's no way <laughs> I'm going to be at 90 <laughs> so when we exit Wally World we need to be on a 020 heading and follow US 221 to the railroad track in the railroad tracks I guess you just work your way in from there I've got and Wally World and this Venora whatever both GPS fixes and I've got them in four flight hooked in so you can actually fly to the fix and then turn. I never made it there. It said, ever want to be a missionary and help humanity? This is your chance to help <laughs> humanity or the ground controller. Made from white cardboard with six inch 
bigger letters. GAP. I guess we're not gonna be missionaries today. <laughs> we're heathens today. Why are we studying? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Send it, baby. Send, Send it. it. You feel good about it, D? Oh, I'm good. I ain't worried. He's good. Chris, you feel good about it? <laughs> no pressure, baby. <laughs> Let's go. All right. The blind lead the blind, baby. Let's do it. All right, we're about an hour and 10 minutes out, so we're gonna go ahead and fire up. Um, this is a lot like Sun and Fun or Oshkosh. There is a fixes you have to hit in order to sequence and get ready and no radio traffic, blah, blah, blah. So first time for all three of us doing this. So we're uh, trying to make sure we get it right. made it the triple tree we made it it, it kind of got busy when we were coming in but there are planes everywhere um, if you like me and you have not done that before you need to make it a priority and fly here this is incredible and if you don't currently follow these people on Instagram and YouTube they're called fly me to the fun you definitely need to let's go let's baby, go baby, hey, made full it. sin brother <laughs> I heard you make that call and bad boy said full set. He's on it. <laughs> if you want to know what it's like to hang out with the cool kids, just go somewhere with Chris Zorn and his super stole and you will feel like you are with a celebrity. This dude's airplane is uh it is awesome and it uh 
it grabs a lot of attention so that's really cool so triple tree provides a platform to reconnect with old friends and even establish new ones we spend our time checking out the airplanes and there were tons to be seen and just enjoyed our time listening to the airplanes buzz over and fellowshipping with other pilots There's plenty to do here between the vendors, the people, and even a, uh, a nice lunch. It didn't take long to realize that Triple Tree had completely lived up to my expectations. enjoyed a good aviation day we're looking down to see where Derek's gonna get some fuel at Ooh. actually I'm gonna top off with some fuel too in my wing tank so we're gonna find where we can get some good fuel and I think we're gonna get out of here pretty soon we finally made it past our airplanes we stayed at our airplanes basically all day I got Brian who's uh, just awful famous and then we've got Chris with the super stole who Chris I mean, is, uh, that super stole was like Everybody wants to see that super stole. I mean, I've had to call both of their phones just to get them to come let's look at some other planes. So uh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty popular around Triple Tree these days. But what he's not telling you is he was the first one to get swarmed when we landed. <laughs> and, I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. And ramp checked. <laughs> and all that trash talking that Derek did, right here, Mr. Popularity himself, is flying in the Stinson 10, and I think he might be the only Stinson 10 to fly in the Triple Tree this year. And uh, I mean, he did all that trash talking. Now he's holding us up. Get it together, Derek. Let's go. Super Cubs coming out from your left, further down. Can we go ahead and follow him right now. And uh, the Super Cubs will be from your left. Gotcha, thanks. Super Cubs, are you up? Yeah, we're ready to roll. Roger, you're like number six, seven, and eight. For the Super Club, you guys gonna go in tandem or together? We'll all go together. Roger, departure your discretion, left turn out soon as practical wind 0405. All right, here we go. Ooh! I was in his wake. That was a lot. Man, that was cool. Yeah, that was worth the trip for sure. Um, definitely for a first experience.